Well, here's another a short story. <clears throat> An extremely short one. Uh, yes, I've met some interesting people. Here's one about um, in Bournemouth. We used to go well, in one particular year. We went there many for many years, but one particular year we went to a restaurant called the Red Panda over 300 evenings in one year. We loved the place. It's now long gone. It's been demolished, sadly. Um, but we enjoyed it. And uh, one day we were in there. It's a big restaurant. Well, it used to be a big restaurant. And there's only about four or five people in there. I mean, it's massive. It could take over 100 people in there quite easily. Uh, easily. And we knew the owners and, and the managers. And we almost were asked to buy it out and take it over. But we didn't. Um, <clears throat> There was a couple sitting on the two or three tables away from us, and then there was one sitting at the next table to us, and then another one right at the other end, uh, right at the other end of the restaurant. So there were only like four or five people in the restaurant. A man sitting at the next table to us, only like from here to window, which is well closer than that, about ten feet away, if anything. Next table, there was a man, and uh, his his minder, and it was Jimmy Savile. We spent over two hours, maybe three hours talking to him and sitting next to him to him. He wanted to see if we could make photographs with him together. We didn't we didn't have a camera at the time. So there was days before the iPhone. Uh, and um, so we didn't do that. But we chatted to him, nice band, dressed the same, track suit, all his medallions and uh, chains around his neck and rings. Nice, charming man. No sign, as I said about other people I've met, no sign of him being bad. So it's, um, it's very strange, but we, we enjoy the evening. It's only later on we discovered that he's supposed to have done all sorts of things, but I say supposed to have done. No doubt he did. And, and no doubt he did the very bad things that stopped Manuel. Um, I know. I feel sorry for all the people you hurt. There's, there's one small thing which just doesn't, doesn't alter what he's done, except um, it's a culture in those days, not for the bad things he did, but People used to flirt with people that were underage, underage in this country, and people that are of of the, uh, the correct age in this country are underage in other countries like in the USA. So it depends what country you're in, and uh, what period and what culture. So what he was doing with people that underage in, in in England, it wasn't necessarily bad. It was in Portugal, Spain, France, and Germany. Just was bad in England. So sometimes we forget this, and. Um, I, I was a young teenager, and I knew young teenage girls. Uh, it doesn't happen that, uh, that when they reach 16, also they become um, uh, attractive. They can be attractive a day before 16, but obviously not when they're one. <laughs> obviously. Um, so yes, unfortunately what happened to him, he got knighted and did so, so many things of charity, but he turned out to be an evil, evil person. But with that one exception of that, a lot of people have been condemned for flirting or taking out girls that were underage. Which, as I say, you know, still parts of parts of Europe they were very young, and India and Middle East, you know, you get married at any age basically, which is all quite mad. But that's another story. This is a story about meeting Jimmy Savile and finding him a charming, nice man on those couple of hours that we knew him. Goodbye.